They call it the Lenovo Yoga 9i. This is the 2023 model with the i7-1360P. Now this model I have here comes with 16 gigs of RAM. Now there's no big differences as far as the build quality and usability of the laptop from 2022. But if you're curious about the build quality and usability, I've done a full unboxing where I toured the whole laptop and give you my thoughts. I'll link it up at the end of this video if you wanna check it out. Over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Ben G. Kaiser to try a two week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. In this video, we're gonna talk about the performance, give you a little sample using the pen, check out the webcam and all of the usability of the laptop. Now, the nice thing about the Yoga 9i is it comes with a little handy dandy traveling case where your pen can slide into. One of my biggest frustrations is losing pens and some laptops have it where you can like magnetize the pen to the chassis but I prefer a secure place to put my pen and also put my laptop so I can go ahead close the laptop down slide it into the really nice carrying case and now everything stays together in a nice neat little package I think this was a great move and fairly low cost to execute from Lenovo so really really grateful for that carrying case and the pen slot. Now, as regards to the screen, love this screen. It's a 3K display. The resolution is 3840 by 2400. It has a brightness of 367 nits with 100% sRGB, 98% Adobe RGB, and 98% DCI P3, all on a Delta E of 0.75. So not only does it have a nice large color gamut range, but it's very color accurate within that range. Now, in regards to the webcam, here's a quick sample of it so you can see it in use. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Yoga 9i and a little sample of the audio for you as well. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Lenovo Yoga Gen 8, I put links in the description below. You can definitely check out those links. If you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. The keyboard is very nicely laid out. I like the selection of extra keys here so you can jump to different fan modes, blur your background while on a video call, get to your speaker configurations, brightness, and then of course you have your fingerprint reader here as well. The trackpad is a nice size trackpad, secured very well to the chassis, has a nice confident kind of loud click but not annoyingly loud, and then of course the keyboard is a quiet keyboard with a short ultrabook style key travel. Here's a quick noise sample of me using the keyboard and trackpad. And this does come with Bowers and Wilkins speakers. Here's a quick sample of the speakers in use.
Now, in regards to the thin and lightness of this laptop, it is truly phenomenal. It's a nice thin and light package, nice build quality, no chassis flex, which is really great. And the port selection is better than your standard Ultrabook because Lenovo still includes a USB type A. Got you two USB type C's, and then of course, another USB type C and a headphone jack. Now you will be occupying one of your USB type C's with your charger. So if you'll be needing more than two USB type C's, you're gonna wanna bring a dongle along with you. Now the screen flex on this laptop is quite minimal. It has a nice rigid aluminum screen. So no problems there with screen flex. And even the bounce on the screen when you stop moving it is almost non-existent. So great build quality, great hinge, really good laptop from a user perspective. Now the battery life on this laptop for an Ultrabook is good. It's not amazing. I was hopeful for more battery life. For the Passmark productivity battery, we saw about nine hours and 30 minutes. For streaming video playback, 11 hours. Photoshop work, six hours, and video editing in Premiere Pro, about four hours. So for a Thin and Light Ultra book, I was hoping for more, but it is good. You should get a day's use out of it if you're just simply taking notes or streaming video. If you're doing Photoshop or video editing, I recommend bringing the charger along with you. Now let's jump into the performance benchmarks, starting off at the simulated benchmarks. So you can see the scores in Geekbench single core and multi-core, as well as Cinebench R23 single core and multi-core. Now the next thing we're looking at is Photoshop. Now the best laptop I've seen so far with the latest i7 1360p is the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360, scoring a high 800, almost hitting a 900. So the 855 on the Lenovo Yoga 9i is great. Definitely on par with other laptops with similar components. So you're gonna have great performance inside of Photoshop. Now this laptop does come in an eight gig variant, but I definitely recommend getting 16 gigs of RAM if you're gonna be using it for graphic design, photography, digital art, video editing, that will definitely benefit from 16 gigs of RAM. Eight gigs is just a little underpowered, especially when you're using Photoshop or Premiere Pro. You wanna have the extra RAM so the program doesn't bottleneck because you got a lot of great performance out of the i7-1360p, so you don't wanna bottleneck it with not enough RAM. Now, if you're considering using this laptop for After Effects, it would not be my recommendation. It scores about a 600 in After Effects, which is decent, but being that this laptop does not have 32 gigs of RAM or a dedicated GPU, just is a little underpowered for being a mainstay recommendation for After Effects. I'd either wanna see 32 gigs of RAM or a dedicated GPU to give me the confidence to say, yes, go for it. Use After Effects often with this laptop. If you occasionally pop into After Effects to tweak a few things, I think you can get away with it, but I would not use this as like my main After Effects workstation. Now, in regards to video editing, I was very impressed with this laptop, a four minute export time out of Premiere Pro for 4K video editing. And it even had a 27 minute export time for B-RAW, which is on par with the MacBook Pro M2 Pro. So this little laptop kicks with performance. If you're gonna be going ahead and editing that footage with playback for Premiere Pro 4K, zero drop frames. For B-RAW, we saw about 14,000 drop frames. So I wouldn't exactly edit B-RAW footage on this laptop, but you could export it. So I would not consider this a 6K video editing laptop. I would cap it at 4K and definitely capable of 1080p. All right, let's go ahead and test out the pen. As you can see on top, you can just plug USB-C right in there to charge it. And once it's charged, your pen's good to go. Like I said, it pulls out of the sleeve on the carrying case, so very functional. But we're here in Photoshop, testing out the pen sensitivity. It has a nice grip to it. It doesn't necessarily feel like paper. It feels a little more like a little stickiness on a screen, um, but it does have a nice feel. It doesn't feel like it slides around too much. So you can see you can do nice light touches, and then you can press down a little harder and get that nice thick stroke. And you can go light to thick, back to light to thick. So it has good touch sensitivity and seems to be very responsive. Like when you go and you push, it's not delayed. Let's see if I can get it to delay if I go like really fast. No, it's keeping up really nice. So pen with the screen works very well.
a little on the sticky side, like I said, so it doesn't feel like paper. However, I know they do make screen protectors. Not sure right off the top of my head what they're called, but they almost have like a paper feel to them. So maybe if you apply something like that to this, it would create more of that paper feel on your screen. Punch for Punch, a fantastic option for on-the-go creators looking for a two-in-one laptop with pen functionality. Love the 3K screen, color accurate display, great performance with the i7 1360p, and you can't beat the build quality on these Lenovo machines, especially the great audio experience coming out of the Bowers and Wilkins speaker. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase, and I'll see you guys here on the next video.